All right, so you've been playing Spark 2 and you've been setting up your own presets. You've got just the way you like them. Now you want to save them to the amp so you can take them with you and not have to use the app. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. With your Spark 2 powered on and the app open, choose the preset tone that you'd like to save to the hardware. The preset that I've chosen is already on the Spark 2, and you can tell because the LED next to the preset number is flashing. So if I were to play through this right now, this is the tone that I would be getting out of the hardware, but it's not saved there yet. Now there's two ways to save it. You can see right here that it says hold to save. If I were to hold down the button here, it would actually save it to the hardware and overwrite the current preset that came from the factory. The other way to do it is through the three dots at the top right. You can choose Save to Hardware Preset. Saving this way gives us more options because we can actually choose where it goes through the app. Right now, it wants to save it to channel 1A. You've got a red light here, so this is the first bank the A bank, and channel one means that it's the first preset in the red bank. But what if I want to save it somewhere else? Through the app, I can choose any of the eight available preset slots on the amp and save there. So let's save it to 2B. You can see that it switched over to the B bank because the light turned green. And there it is, it's on the second tone. And if I actually switch presets, you'll see there it is. Now it's on the hardware. Now what if I want to further edit this preset just using the hardware controls on the amp and then save it? I can do that too. Let's say I want to set my gain. I want to flatten out that EQ. And then I'm going to turn up my master. Let's get rid of the modulation altogether, dial up a little more delay, and increase the reverb. All right, let's say I like those settings. All I have to do is hold down the preset button, and you can see it went from flashing to solid. Anytime you make changes on the knobs on the amp, you'll notice that the preset button starts to flash. That means that you've edited this preset so the live sound is the edited sound that's coming out of the amp if you were to play through this right now, but it's not currently saved. If I don't like the settings that I've made, I can just toggle the preset back and forth to come back to the preset the way that it's saved in the amp. But if I like the settings, let's say I crank up my mids, crank up my treble, turn the bass down. Okay, that's what I like right now. I hold the button and it saves it. You know it's saved because it's solid.